Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Today we have a really interesting question. x plus y equal to 4 and x y equal to 16. We need to find our x and y. If you have your own solution, you can also write your solution down into the comment section and we will check our solutions in just a few minutes. So it will be it will be really interesting. So this is a basic algebra question. So right now let's express from the first equation. Let's express, for example, our y. So let's do this right now. So from the first equation, our y equal to of y equal to 4 minus x. Okay, so we have 4 minus x. And basically, we need to plug in this y instead of this y right here. So we need to plug in 4 minus x instead of this y. As a result, what do we have right here? We have x times, instead of y, we're going to plug in this. So we have 4 minus x equal to equal to 16. Right now, let's simplify this a little bit. Let's open our parentheses. Let's multiply this expression by, by our parentheses. And as a result, we have what? We have 4x minus x squared equal to equal to 16. It looks like a quadratic equation. Yeah, we have constant, we have x, we have second power. So right now let's change an order. First of all, let's change an order. Let's write minus x squared on the first position because we prefer a different order. Yeah, we have minus x squared. Next, we have plus 4x, 4x. And the last step, minus 16. Let's bring it from our right to left side. So minus 16 equal to equal to zero. This is a quadratic equation. It looks like everything is great, but we have minus. So we prefer plus. So right now let's multiply both sides by, by minus one. So multiplying both sides or dividing doesn't matter. So as a result, we have x squared minus 4x and plus plus 16. And right now we have basic quadratic equation. So there are a lot of approaches. How can we solve it? How can you find our roots? So right now let's find, for example, discriminant. So first of all, our discriminant equal to we have b squared minus 4ac, which is equal to we have b squared minus 4ac. Our b equal to minus 4, so we have minus 4 squared minus 4 times 1 and times 16. And right now we can easily see that our discriminant will be negative. Yeah, we have right here minus 4 squared, we have 16 minus, we have right here 64. So 16 minus 64 equal to minus 48. So it implies that right here we have no real roots. And a lot of students are confused about this, this discriminant. They say, okay, we don't have real number roots, and that's it. But in terms of uh, complex numbers, we can easily find two, two complex solutions. So let's do this right now. So we have x first and x second equal to, we have minus b, plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a. This is classic classic formula. Right now let's plug in each of these elements into this coefficient into this spot. So we have minus, we have b equal to minus 4 plus minus square root of discriminant square root of minus 48 and all over all over to a. But a equal to 1, so we have 2 times 1. Right now let's simplify this a little bit. We have we have 4 plus minus square root of minus 48 and we divide all that thing by by 2. Right now we can easily simplify it once more because right here we can easily write our complex unit and we can write this 48 as uh, 16 times 3. So let's do this right now. So equal to we have 4 plus minus we can easily write it as square root of minus 1 times square root of 16 and times square root of 3. Okay and we divide all that thing by by 2. Right now Square root of 16 equal to 4, equal to 4, and this one we can easily leave it like that, and square root of minus 1 equal to i, because it's not uh, possible in terms of real numbers. So this is our complex unit. So as a result we have 4 plus minus, we have 4i square root of 3, and we divide by by 2, and the last step will be division by 2. So we can easily divide this element by 2 and this element by 2. As a result we have 2 plus minus, to i square root of 3. We have two complex solutions. But in terms of in terms of x and y, we, we know everything about x. Yeah, we have, uh, or yeah, we, this is our x. Right now, let's find our y. y equal to 4 minus x. So first of all, let's rewrite our, let's rewrite our uh, y. So y equal to 4 minus x. And we know everything about uh, x. x first equal to, we have right here, x first equal to, let's go with the plus sign, so 2 plus 2i square root of 3, and we know everything about x second. Let's write it with the minus sign. We have 2 minus 2i square root of 3. Really great. Right now let's plug in this x into this spot. As a result, we have y first equal to 4 minus this x, so we have 2 plus 2i square root of 3. As a result, our y first equal to 4 minus 2 minus 2i square root of 3. 
So y first equal to 4 minus 2 equal to 2 minus 2i square root of 3. Okay, this is our y first, really great. And we will have absolutely the same y second if we're talking about the structure, if we're talking about the expression, but with the, with the positive sign. Right here we have plus minus, and right here with the y second we will have like 2 plus 2i square root of 3. Okay, so we have like plus minus, minus plus. So two pairs of solutions. So right now let's write our both pairs of solution and let's check it, let's prove it, let's see uh, is it correct or not correct. So first of all, let's let's separate this uh, part and right now let's write our, our x and y. So our pairs, x and y, equal to, so the first pair, we have x first, y first, so we have 2 plus 2i square root of 3 and 2 minus 2i square root of 3. And we have the second pair, we have 2 minus 2i square root of 3 and 2 plus 2i square root of 3. Right now let's check it, let's check these solutions, let's check these, let's check these pairs. First of all let's rewrite our question in the beginning what we had. We had x plus y equal to 4 and xy equal to equal to 16. This is our question from the beginning. Right now let's check our, our solution. First of all let's check addition. So we have x plus y equal to 4. Let's plug in. For example let's plug in this pair or this pair doesn't matter. We don't need to check both pairs because we have addition. Okay when we have addition 2 plus uh, we have 2 plus 3 equal to 5 and 3 plus 2 equal to 5. So it doesn't matter when we change position we will have absolutely the same thing. So x plus y equal to 4 and y plus x equal to 4 because because of this addition. It's not works like that with in terms of subtraction. In terms of addition we need to check only one of this. So we have 2 plus 2i square root of 3 plus 2 minus 2i square root of 3 equal to 4. Let's see what will happen. So 2i square root of 3 minus 2i square root of 3 and we have 2 plus 2 equal to equal to 4. So we have 4 equal to equal to 4. So our first equation is absolutely absolutely correct. Right now let's check our our second equation. We have xy equal to 16. So xy equal to equal to 16. Let's check it. Let's see what will happen. It's the same thing as with addition. We can easily write it xy equal to 16 and yx equal to 16. So we don't need to check both of these pairs. So we have mm, 2 plus 2i square root of 3 times 2 minus 2i square root of 3 equal to it looks like 16. Yep, right now let's see what will happen right here. We can easily multiply parentheses by parentheses, but if you look closely, we have, it looks like, if for example, 2 is our a and 2i square root of 3, for example, okay, we have a and this is our, our b. This is our a, this is our our b. So we have a plus b times a minus b. Let's remember formula from, from school. It looks like that. This is our a square minus b square. Yeah, we have a minus b, a plus b. So basically we can easily write it as difference of squares. So we have right here equal sign, we have 2 square minus 2i square root of 3 square, which is equal to, what do we have right here? We have 4 minus, uh, we need to raise each of these elements, so we have 2 square, we have 4, we have i square, and square root of 3 to the second power equal to times, we have right here, 3. What do we have right here? i square equal to equal to minus 1. So as a result of a general sign will be plus. So we have 4 plus 4 times 3 equal to equal to 12. And this is our our 16. So our answer is absolutely correct. Yeah, this is in terms of complex numbers, not in terms of real numbers, but this is our answer. This is how it is. So right now let's write our final answer to this question. So our final answer. We have two pairs of solution. The first one, 2 plus 2i square root of 3. 2 minus 2i square root of 3 and the second pair. So we have 2 minus 2i square root of 3 and we have 2 plus 2i square root of 3. A great question. As you can see, we prove it, we solve it. And basically, this question is not that hard because this is basic school question. We just express y according to x and we solve quadratic equation. The main trick right here is complex solutions. But it happens if you want to uh, learn a good math, you need to know, you need to work with both with real numbers and with complex numbers. So in our case, I guess a lot of students prefer real numbers, like 90% I guess uh, uh, prefer real numbers. But in our case, we have complex numbers, but doesn't matter. We need to solve it according to complex number. And right here happens that we have like not complicated expression. So we don't have like a long square root, we don't have division, we have basic expression with real part and with imaginary part. So as you can see we have 
uh, we have our pairs of solution, two pairs of solution, and we, we prove it, we check it in this, in this part. So this is our right here. We have we have proof, so we check, we check our solution, which is which is really great. So thank you for your time, thank you for your support. Also write your question down into the comment section, write your notes down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to exchange information, to check our solutions. What do you think about this type of question? Maybe you have a faster method. I solve this question basically according to a classic school uh, school structure. We go in from the first step to the last step, we express it, we plug it in into the second equation. But again, there are a lot of approaches. How can you solve this question like in one or two minutes? So you can easily write your uh, write your solution, write your assumption down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. Thank you everyone for your time. Thank you everyone for your support. See you in the next videos and have a great day.